women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes, they're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You, would you date if a bus driver? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it, if he owns the bus. See, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. Because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm -hmm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver mm -hmm. if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a Okay, see, I heard that and that popped off so many discussions. So let's dive through some comment sections to see what we can find as far as the best takes. This lady right here says she's not putting the bus driver down. The job is a job. However, she's a 40 year old TV personality and attorney. That's just not the type of man that fits her lifestyle, I'm assuming. This lady right here puts, yeah, we have truly lost sight of what's important. Integrity, character, work ethic, passion, strong communicator, knows and loves God, good to me and others. Who cares if he owns the bus, if he's toxic and leads with his money? We women care too much about what it looks like than what it truly is. Ooh. Ooh. Now that makes me think, how many women will accept certain relationships if social media didn't exist? They didn't have to present their relationships for others' approval and they just move based off of just loving a person and enjoying life together. And that's what that was it. They didn't have to do things for approval. They didn't have to worry about, would this give me likes X, Y, and Z? Like, if things were that way, how many more relationships would work? Let's go ahead and keep reading. Yeah, you notice black women are the only race of women puts to not care about what a man does for a living. Not true. Not true. We're not the only race. There's a lot of other races. They have the same type of conversations that we have. Some families' values rely on religion. Some families' values rely on class. Some family values rely on relationships and love. And that goes with white, black, Hispanic, Asian. Hold up. I want to add that black men aren't allowed to go through the humble growth process due to the demands that we are given to maintain a relationship. Once you plant a seed, it takes time for that tree to grow to bear fruit. And even once it begins to produce a little bit of fruit, we're pressured to immediately be plucked before we can even accumulate an amount that can actually make a difference. To be clear, young men are being compared to older men who've already gone through the process or young niggas who've cheated the process. So to compete, they give up their resources too soon and never reach stability. And if they don't crumble to society's demands by saving their money, not giving their girlfriends designer bags, taking them on vacation two, three times a year, paying for hair and nails, every single thing before they can actually truly afford to. Many women shame young men when they feel like they've chosen an inadequate or broke dude. Polluting that tree with toxicity and then wonder why you cannot eat the fruit once it fully blooms. This is a problem in the black community and both men and women are at fault. But let's get back to the video though. But let's keep reading. She says, I get what Yana is trying to say, but ma'am, you know damn well you would not date a typical bus driver. There has to be a base level of compatibility and that includes profession, education, mentality, etc. You never hear or see a woman of another race who is well established other dating a man who is as established or above established established as her y'all gotta stop speaking to so much absolutes because if someone wants to they can easily prove you wrong if they if someone care to they care to they can easily find examples to prove you wrong stop saying you would never you would never that's not true and unless you have the time to do the resources and data don't even say statements like that that's the point when we have these discussions people don't even care to have to think to prove the shit to be right they just want to blurt the shit out just to win an argument so to continue, she says, as well, slavery did some damage to us in that 2023, she was encouraged as black women to lower her standards. Men never lowered theirs, so why should a woman? Men do lower their standards. You could work at fucking CVS and them nigga could have money comes in there. Men lower their standards all the time. Men take on women that have children. A lot of black men are stepfathers. 
a lot of black men date hoes. Y'all say all the time, hoes always getting white, right? Who dating them? Men, there's so many women that you guys see. How does she get him? Because some men lower their fucking standards in your eyes, right? Stop always changing facts just to fit your argument. That's not true. This lady says, at this point, I'm noticing a lot of women don't really want real love. They want what a man can do for them. And that's why it's so hard for the women who would date a bus driver. Too many women want to put materialistic things over genuine love. This generation ruined. All right, this is the last one I'm going to read. You see, I'm only just reading women's comments because I know what men are going to stand on this. We Men understand hypergamy. So we, we get it. We understand. But this is still some interesting discussion. So this lady said, this is why I will always be a quote unquote pick me because women really don't think men are human too. They think that they're robots. It's okay to want a man to provide, but I grew up seeing my parents work as a team, not individually, and they are pushing 25 years of marriage and, on, and multiple businesses. I value working as a team. We are one. Okay, it's so right here. I think she had a typo, but I'm going to go ahead and fix it. She says, y'all date the wrong man. Be his ride or die. He drags you under and changes when he gets on his feet. He shows you the signs. You ignored it. Lack of accountability. Then you blame all men and start making these high standards of what you won't tolerate because of what you tolerated. Not everybody got to suffer then shit then shit that you can't even reciprocate and even if you can you come up with an attitude can't cook trauma trust issues lack of accountability and all these amends but can't even be his support system mentally and hug him and tell him you're proud of him once in a while or be his safe place to vent the list goes on all right so she said a mouthful she said a lot of good things right there okay so i see a lot of different perspectives many people are making a point as far as saying her stature of her being a huge rich successful lawyer that's on tv tv personality so of course she has certain standards but certain people are saying okay if you have certain standards and you have access to so much men as far as i'm pretty sure some colleagues and clients that makes x y and z type of money to go ahead and reach your demands as far as those things but you still haven't found anyone at about 40 years old then you have to understand and she said this in another in interview that your pickings are going to be slim you have to just live with that and that's that's okay and that's fine some people just have to live with that and that's okay and it's not on me i don't care to go ahead and convince someone to make their life easier based on what i think would be easier some people don't think that way some people just don't value companionship they they rather the image that's what they rather value you feel me someone on the breakfast club made a great statement is a lady saying that okay some men some men not all men but some men may be um intimidated by her colleagues whether they are a blue collar worker and she may have to go to a white house correspondent dinner and he has to go ahead and speak to other men some men may feel intimidated by going to those spaces and seeing how they stack up against those other men. But to fight against that idea, Charlemagne came and said, look, a lot of those rich dudes are super socially awkward. There's some guys in the hood right now that can go and take over the room in rooms like that just because he's charismatic. And that's probably why this lady is dating this person that doesn't make as much money because he is charismatic. So, so many different factors and people, I think we got to be careful with these lists. We gotta be careful with these lists. We can have an idea as far as you know what are our non-negotiables, and then from that point, we work around certain things. So we gotta really think about that. I always felt like if a lady is making so much more money in life, I think that should open up her options, not close them. That's what I thought. But some women don't think that way. But I thought it was simple math. If you don't need a man to provide as much financial security because you are providing an abundance of financial security then maybe you should open up the option for love to seep through more you now have the liberty to go ahead and factor in compatibility and companionship you have the room to factor those things in now but we're saying over and over again not everyone thinks that way so out of the 50,000 plus comments posted on social i only saw a handful that even considered the possibility of a bus owner being a more aspirational position and recognizing that I am actually speaking and pouring into the ascension of black men when I said what I said. But see, no, some of y'all were too busy naming and shaming me personally and black women in general as undesirable gold diggers and much worse. Now I suspect that some of y'all are the same men that were bringing home C's and D's on your report cards, only to then be coddled by parents that said, well, that's okay, as long as you're doing your best. Well, listen, I love and believe in the excellence of black men. So no, my dear, C's and D's or any other form of mediocrity is not okay. 
No, I will not create a soft place for you or anybody that I love to fall comfortably into the bigotry of low expectations. So I'm going to say one more time. There's absolutely nothing wrong with driving a bus. My mother Gloria drove one for years. But could it be that black America has been sold a narrative of average, regular, and typical being good enough for us? Hmm. Well, see, that's called white supremacy. And in this case, it takes the form of conditioning black Americans to happily accept being a permanent American underclass. But see, because I know the truth about black folk in America, no, average is not and will never be good enough for me. And the gag is, I don't think it's good enough for you either. Okay, so y'all heard that, and that was an attempt for damage control for Ebony K. Williams. And um, on that post, I simply made a comment saying she's just shitting on an occupation that's a necessity in society. LOL. Everyone in life will not be an owner, and that does not mean they are failures or average. Even still, average is a normal person. Once again, not a failure. No, you don't have to date one, but respect those people and their work. Now to her other points about mediocrity. I think on average, we have the same amount of ambition as any other race, even though I'm saying that it's tough to actually make a study on that because most of that is just mental. But I'm under the belief that our poor folks are so poor that it drags down our overall social status. And Miss Ebony K. Williams, that is white supremacy. As all this shit is just the result of a strategy that was executed to perfection. But I said that to say this right here. Are we as people only as good as our weakest links? And I don't know. I don't know. But um, I'm sure that the statements that Miss Ebony just made doesn't help our case in terms of stating that we are a group of people that are fully capable of making the most out of our opportunities if given the proper resources. But well, in this Black Twitter episode right here in this segment, we're going to stay in this little space right here. So this caption says, woman says she broke off her engagement because something was missing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That was a clip from my go to series Black Twitter. Watch the entire episode by either clicking the card above or the links in either the description or the pinned comment and be sure to subscribe to the black twitter channel